think of uh, having a threesome? <laughs> yeah, I've had one. Yeah. It wasn't with him, though. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not something that our circle of friends would do. Well, no. if they do, we've never been invited, and I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was two girls, though. Two girls? Yeah. That's the way to I go. get that clear. I mean, I've got good friends who um, explore that side of life, and um, it's definitely not a bad thing for them. Like, I, I don't have any negative views. It's a personal thing. Yeah, I think you, you could, I mean, to feel like you've played the field, I guess, in a way, and tried different things, and don't feel like you've missed out, it may stop people cheating later in the future or marriage is breaking up, possibly, or might go the opposite way. Yeah. I've, I've never done it, but I've had some friends that said that they were happy to do it, and then some people said uh, that was it for the relationship because the other person wanted to do it again, and then over again and again, yeah, so. Um, if you're in a relationship, I suppose, you could cause a few dramas. Um, like, I don't know, mixed feelings and that get around, but nah, if, if everyone's on a level, now nah, it's pretty good. Cool. It has the potential to, in a already existing relationship to make things slightly more interesting, but I think you have to discuss it before you go ahead with certain things like that. Hi, I'm Bessie Bardo. And I'm Jeff Barker. And we're Red Hot Pies Dating Doctors, here with our smart and spicy dating advice. So let's just get right to it. Kate Moss has done it, Jude Law's done it, Angelina Jolie, Madonna, Sting, Everybody seems to be doing it. Threesomes! Yeah. What's going on there? I do not know. <laughs> well, tell us, what is a threesome? Well, threesomes seem to come in two main flavours. You've got your couple's dynamic and you've got your single dynamic. Whether the couple brings a male in or a female mm -hmm. in, there's definite rules for both the couples and the, and the individual side. Of course. Well, let's go straight to it. Partners, what do they need to be careful of? Well, in the partner situation, first and foremost, you need to make sure you have rules, mm -hmm. hard and fast rules in place. You've got to make sure that you know what your partner's comfortable with and what they're not. And you've got to stick with it. There's no point getting together with the other person and running off into a corner and leaving the third wheel there because that's not what it's about. It's a threesome. And okay? of course, choosing the person together probably is quite important. Yeah, choosing the person that you're both comfortable with. It can't be, you know, your best friend's brother because it's going to come back and haunt you. Mm -hmm. Speaking of coming back to haunt you, what about the singles? Because for them, they might get a bit attached. They have to be aware that it's not going to go any yeah. further. From what we, the responses that we get from singles is that they say very much that it's one of these things that actually is... Uh, a benefit to them because they don't have to put up with a relationship. They don't have to put up with the ups and downs of a relationship. They can walk into this situation and feel completely comfortable that they can walk out again at the end of the day and they've had lots of fun. So the singles need to remember that there is a dynamic there, that there mm -hmm. is a husband and wife or a or boyfriend and girlfriend or some dynamic and they need to respect that. Okay. And I guess if you're a single person, don't get involved unless you're completely aware of the rules and the fact that it may not and very likely not turn into something later on. Yeah. And of course, it's really important. Don't be texting. Don't be calling afterwards because that's completely taboo. As soon as the door closes, that's the end of the experience. When it opens again, that's the beginning. So how do you find the extra person to come in or the couple to join? Well, funny you should ask. One of the... One of the Foremost ways, of course, is online. There's mm -hmm. thousands and hundreds of thousands of people online, and you'll find people of all sorts, shapes and sizes, and all sorts of interests in sites like Red Hot Pie. So internet dating is an absolute must for people who are interested in this sort of thing. Another place would be, of course, clubs. And because mm -hmm. it is popular these days, it's not, not so hard to find people who are interested just out having a dance. OK, well, there you go. If you have any more questions or you'd like to find out a bit more, please check out our books online. Or, of course, you can go to Red Hot Pie and ask us any questions you might have. And don't forget, life is too short. So get it right the first time Indeed. with our smart and spicy dating advice. And we shall see you next time.